Arnold, I want you to check and double check all the equipment. I'll need a staff meeting at 7 a.m. sharp. Sharp, that is. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> May I say what a pleasure it is to meet Bennett Barton in person? Thank you. Mr. Barton, sir, I have seen every picture that you have ever directed and starred in. Is that right? Really. Uh, thank you. Um, Arnold Herlick, my assistant. When this ship is set, Dreamboat's gonna be a fantastic musical hit. Could you tell us what it's about? <laughs> well, uh, if I can. You can, huh? <laughs> it's a story of a glamorous movie star who inherits a luxury liner on the verge of bankruptcy. Now, to help her out, some show business friends stay to the school on board. It's a hit. The ship is saved, and there you are. I love it! Of course you do. Sir, in my opinion, that has all the makings of a surefire smash. We have an incredible cast. Johnny Lovett, the rock star. The one and only Faye Marsh. Faye Marsh? Yes. And of course, yours truly. Bennett Barton! You know who I am. <laughs> I have a message here from a Don Cooper. Don Cooper. Here, I'll read it. I already read it. He's not coming. Don's not coming. <laughs> That's all I need with the lousy script and miserable songs that you've given me in this this turkey. <laughs> I refuse to wear the stress in the movie. The stress is ghastly. Isn't the stress ghastly? You're absolutely right, Miss Morrison. The stress is ghastly. Faye, that dress is perfect for you. Yeah, on the other hand, you know, ghastly is in this year. Faye, why don't you get some sleep? We start shooting tomorrow. Besides, you loved that dress just last week. What? Maybe you're right. This is a perfect dress for a ship. Use it to swap the deck. You know why she's dumping on us like this, don't you? It's because her boyfriend dumped her. We better find her a new boyfriend, and quick. Wait, we're at sea. Why don't we fix her up with a shark? Shut up, Arnold. Shut up. <laughs> Dad, you remember the last picture? I'm getting a little crazy with this. I, I am you getting a little crazy. <laughs> First day of shooting. We've got a great show, a great cast, and from what I hear, a great, great director. <laughs> All right, Johnny, look, we're gonna start with your scene, uh, scene 32. That's where you're trying to get a part in the show. Right. Okay? All right. Places, everybody. Roll them. Take your time. Action. I know I'm just a cabin boy, but tell her I can sing, I can dance, I can be in her show, and I can help her save her ship. Uh, cut, cut, cut. Uh, <laughs> relax. That's nice, Johnny. That's, that's very nice. But remember, you, you, you're begging for this part. I mean, you want this part in the show. It means everything to you. You've got to act like you really want the part. I thought I was acting like I really wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. OK, well, act like you want it just a little bit more. All right? Okay. Okay, uh, Arnold. Bad that place. Ready when you are, baby. <laughs> All right, roll them. All right, Johnny. Want it. Action. I know I'm just a cabin boy, but tell her I can dance. I mean, I can sing. Uh, I can't do it, guys. Take it's all right. It's all right. Nice. Oh, look, take a break, everybody. Take five. Yeah. All right, take five. That's five. That's seven, eight, and another five. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have been shooting a movie aboard this most fabulous ship, and we do hope you've enjoyed uh, watching us work. But now, we're going to put you to work. We're going to ask you to be a part of this musical number. Now, what we want you to do is just relax. Enjoy yourself. Act normal uh, but whatever you do please do not look into that lens please is everything ready yes sir fire at that place <laughs> ready anytime you are bb <laughs> no 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 say no no look, look make make your moves more like this 
One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anything you say, darling. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look, no, no, with me. Okay. I don't believe it. The tigress has become a real pussycat. Thanks to our favorite animal trainer. Listen, everyone. I want you all to know that I have never, ever been this happy. And I owe it all to this wonderful man right here, Dr. Adam Bricker. Oh, Faye, please. Now, Adam, this is my speech, and I haven't finished yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have an announcement to make. Adam and I are going to be married. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Off to wardrobe. Faye. Faye. Uh, Congratulations. I think that's it's, great. It is great. No, no, it's better than great. It's very good. Isn't it better? Look, I'll say, look, think of the publicity on this. Star finds seventh heaven and seventh husband uh -huh. on the dream. Uh -huh. oh, no, no, hold, hold, hold it, hold it. Excuse me. Now, I, don't get me wrong. I think Faye is a terrific lady in everything. Uh, I never asked her to marry me. What? As a matter of fact, she never asked me to marry her. So this whole thing is, is, is very... No, I, I better find her and just straighten this whole thing out. Oh, uh, <laughs> Uh, look, uh, we understand how you feel. Uh, believe yeah, me, we do. But, but if you have to turn it down... Couldn't you wait till the movie's over? No. Yeah, you see, if uh, Faye gets upset... Then she'll be impossible. It'll be impossible. You're more than impossible. Yeah. She'll walk. And no Faye means... No movie. And no movie means... No job for me. Oh, please, Doc, don't tell her yet. And Arnold isn't the only one whose job is on the line. If I have to close down this movie, that means I have to fire the cameraman? The makeup artists? The grips? You see, these people have family. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I guess I can wait, but... Just till you've finished filming. Thanks, huh? Thanks. We'll never forget this. You're furious. Furious! Do you understand? Okay. All right, sir. Let's, uh, let's try it again. Let's have a rehearsal. And action. Oh, Tommy, listen to me. I can explain everything. Why, why should I listen to you? You've done nothing but lie to me. Just do me a favor. Stay out of my life. I never want to see you again. Okay, uh, let's take a short break. Short break! Excuse me, darling. Of course. I'm coming! <laughs> I brought you these changes, Miss Bosch, for your uh, big number. I'm still in this race. Fine. I better stay while you uh, read it over, all right? <laughs> Hi, Doc! Arnold? And I can do more than spot. I may be down, but not out. Oh, that's much I better. Think that's good too. Yeah. Good I night, Arnold. All right, now remember, tomorrow your call is at 6.30 in the morning. I won't forget. Good night, <laughs> Arnold. Not forget at 6.30 Arnold, and Meridian. Arnold, I have been able to tell time since the age of three. Good night, oh. Arnold. All right, good night. Oh. Remember that 6.30, dear. <laughs> people. Oh. And, and Captain Marty, and I truly want to thank you and your wonderful crew for all the cooperation that you gave us in filming a major part of Dreamboat on this fabulous ship. Well, you're more than welcome. And in fact, we were all so caught up with the movie, we hate to see you go. <laughs> I want to tell you, we hate to go too, because it has been fun. See you Thursday. See you Thursday. Thursday? Yes. But... Oh, oh, wait, we forgot to tell you. We're shooting the finale at the studio. We want all of you to be in it. Oh, right. party, what? really? In the movie? Yeah, 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 I want to thank you, first of all, for all of your hard work as the captain and his crew. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you. And we're about to shoot the finale. Now, every number in the show has been leading up to this one. I don't want to make you nervous, but please, give it all you got. <laughs> <laughs> but most of all, have fun. Let's make it. Places, right. people. Light it!